Okay, Psalm 31, verse 23, King James Version Bible, the first part of the verse. O love the Lord, all ye his saints. The love of Jesus Christ is immeasurable. Remember when he went to check on Lazarus and he was already dead? And remember Jesus wept at the tomb and everyone around said, oh, how he loved the man. He loved Lazarus. Jesus showed his love. When he came down from heaven, no reason for him to do it, only his love came down to the manger. The angels must have said, wow, look at how much he loves the humans to be able to do, to do this for them. And when he lay in the manger as a baby, the angels could see him and say, look how Jesus loves. But then when he was in the garden, sweating blood, drops of blood coming out of his pores, praying so fervently, and he was arrested, and spat upon, and beaten with a whip, a knotted glass metal whip. He was accused of blasphemy. He was accused of being mad. Accused of all sorts of things by man. He was forced to put the crown of thorns on his head and to carry his cross down the street and was ridiculed and given up took a murderer, a terrible murderer, released him and kept Jesus Christ. And he went to the cross, to the Golgotha, the hill of the skull, and had the nails driven into his hands and into his feet. And hung up on the cross, his side pierced with a sword, and when he was thirsty, they gave him vinegar to drink. And they spat upon him, mocked him, and called him names and cast lots for his clothes while he hung there just hung there dying for all of our sins that we committed in the past up to the moment of our salvation they were all covered in his blood that's when everybody knew wow how he loved us how he loves us present tense it's just incredible my friends incredible to think of the love for Jesus Christ and for so many times how we don't love him back and we show by our attitude and our actions that we don't have really real love for him that we just take him for granted and we don't work as hard as we can for the Holy Spirit's power empowerment to get out there and witness to the lost reap, to reap the harvest that's so plentiful it's rotting in the fields Jesus gave it all for us he showed his love he shows his love and he'll show his love forever. He's going to come get us soon in the rapture, praise the Lord, and take us, the few of us who are ready, back to heaven. Let's love Jesus back. Let's thank him for all he's done for us. And the only way we can, we can never give him anything that would be remotely pay him back for what he's done for us. All we can give him is ourself, 100% of ourself, to get out there night and day and reap the harvest, to, to witness, share the good news of Jesus Christ to all the lost, to show him thank you for your love for what you did for us and for rising again on the third day praise the Lord completing the work going back to heaven and be at the right hand side of the Father to prepare a place forever for us in heaven which we'll be going to soon the few of us who are truly ready let's pray Heavenly Father I love you so much and I thank you Jesus for your love oh your love is just beyond measure your love is just so it's, it's so awesome can't even describe it <coughs> excuse me we just love you and help us to show our love not just give you lip service or tell people yeah Jesus is great let's show it Anybody can talk the talk. Let's walk the walk. Help us to get out there, Jesus, and just to get off of our lazy bones and, get, and just turn the television off and get out of the easy chair and get out there and reap the harvest. It's so plentiful. It's rotting in the field while we still have time. I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Love you, Jesus. Amen. If you watch this video and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day, went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father. Since that time, you've been making a place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me my sins, Jesus. Come cleanse my heart. Live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. You pray this prayer. Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. Now, once you get saved, get your King James Version Bible. It's the living, breathing Word of God. The way you feed your body with food and water every day, this Bible will feed your spirit and soul daily if you read it. Pray to Jesus every day. He's your new best friend. He wants to talk to you every single day. 
go to church and get immersion water baptized as soon as possible. Pray to be sanctified, fill with the Holy Spirit from head to toe. What little time we have left before the imminent rapture as you draw closer to Christ. Take your Bible to church. Or if you watch channels like mine or others on YouTube or go to Facebook or Twitter, Google, wherever you're at, blogs. If what we say don't match the Bible, close the Bible, get up and walk out of church right then and there. Turn off the YouTube channel, unsubscribe, unfriend the person. You don't need to be involved with anybody who lies in Jesus' name and who mocks the Bible and who butchers it. It's very important, my friends. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you want me to pray for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me here. I had the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn it or deserve it. Praise the Lord, I've got it. And I'll pray for you every day, expecting a miracle in your life. And I know God will perform that miracle as long as it's within his holy will. All for his power, strength, honor, glory, and praise and might. Nothing to do with me. I'm just a slave like the Apostle Paul before me. I'm the least in his kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean. Please share the link to this channel, this video, other videos with friends, neighbors, co-workers, loved ones, and strangers. Drop it in a blog somewhere. Plant the seed and walk away. Let God water it so it can grow. We have to get the word of God out the way it's written. The hardcore truth from the Bible. Not the cotton candy, powder puff, syrupy, fluff, the garbage you hear in most pulpits and all across the internet, but the true hardcore truth from the King James Version Bible, cover to cover, verse, chapter, book, all 66 books, the way it's preached on this channel. Not because I'm anything, because God's everything. I love you guys. I pray for you every day, and may God bless you.